What are essential nutrients? Can we live without them? These and many more questions regarding the essentiality of nutrients will be discussed in this video. And uh, stay tuned until the end because I'm going to give you a little bonus of a food that contains almost all the nutrients we need, all the essential nutrients that our body needs to live. Hi to everyone, my name is Tommy, I am a human nutrition student and researcher at the university and my job is to consume a lot of content in the health topic and then I do my own curation and then I explain and teach you the most important and valuable information you need to know. Okay, so let's begin with answering the question, what is an essential nutrient? Okay, so a nutrient is considered as essential when our body is not capable of creating it or as well if our body creates an amount that's not sufficient for our needs. So maybe we have the opportunity and we have the capability of creating that nutrient but it's not in sufficient amounts. The amounts we create are very low and we need more of it. You have to know that there are in the nutrition the essential macros and essential micros. All these macros and micros are nutrients because they provide us either energy, regulatory or plastic function, I mean uh, structural function. So starting with macronutrients we have three, the carbs, the fats and the proteins. And uh, essential are only two, proteins and fats. Why? Because inside the group of proteins we have amino acids and peptides. And you have to know that there are nine amino acids that are essential, that our body produces some of them, but again, they're not in the sufficient quantities as we need them. And some of them, we just don't produce them. So the essential amino acids are the histidine, especially in children. Then we have the leucine, the isoleucine and the valine then the lysine, the methionine and the threonine and then the phenylalanine and the tryptophan. So these are nine amino acids we need to ingest with our diet. Moving on we have the fats and fats have also some components that are essential such as two fatty acids polyunsaturated fatty acids, the omega-6s and the omega-3s. In concrete, the linoleic acid, omega-6, and the linolenic acid, omega-3. These two components of fats are essential for us because we cannot synthesize them and they also contribute to the balance between omega-6s and omega-3s that has to be between 1 and 1. And that determines our levels of inflammation. I talked about this in another video. So these were the macros, the essential macros we need, I mean the essential nutrients inside the macro groups we need. Then we have the micros. Micros are vitamins, minerals. And in the case of micros, all the micros are essential because if you looked at the macros, we skip the carbohydrates. Why? Because there is not such thing as an essential carbohydrate. But in micros, all the micros are essential. Yes, because we need them for many functions. We need them for enzymes to work properly. So starting with vitamins, we can differentiate between vitamins that are fat soluble and the water soluble vitamins. In the fat soluble vitamins, we find the vitamin A, the vitamin E, the vitamin D and the vitamin K. So vitamin A is the retinol or beta carotene in plants. The vitamin E we have the tocopherols and the tocotrienols. And then in the vitamin D there is the cholecalciferol. And vitamin K is formed by many vitamins such as the Phytomenadione, the menadiol, and the menachinone. 
these vitamins are very very important and if you want to know more about them I have a video on my channel explaining that in detail moving on we have the water soluble vitamins and these are a bunch of vitamins that are very important mainly for the energy creation because many of them are implied into the enzymes of the metabolism so these are the vitamin B of the B group vitamin B1 or thiamine, vitamin B2 or riboflavin, vitamin B3 or niacin, vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid, vitamin B6 which is pyridoxine, vitamin B7 or B8 depending on the literature but the biotin and vitamin B9 which is folic acid and vitamin B12 which is uh, cyanocobalamin. So these are very important for the metabolism and the last two the b9 and b12 are also used for the regulation of gene expression then we have also in the water soluble vitamins the famous vitamin c a powerful antioxidant and minerals minerals well we have to differentiate between the electrolytes the plastic function structural function the organic ones and the metal enzymes so within the electrolytes we find the sodium and potassium together with water because yes even if water is not a mineral we include water into the electrolytes and the water is an essential nutrient we could not live without water so this free and uh, then we have the plastic functionality of minerals those structural minerals we need such as the calcium the phosphorus the magnesium and then the fluorine as well and then we have the organic ones such as iron very important for blood and iodine for thyroid hormones and then we have the metal enzymes that, which is a, a group that the name says it all they are like metals that facilitate the enzyme functionality and these are present in many enzymes as uh, cofactors these are minerals such as the zinc, the copper, the manganese, the molybdenum, the selenium, the chromium and uh, many more so as you can see there are a lot of nutrients that we need in our diet and our diet is complete we say our diet is full our diet is a proper human diet when we find all of these nutrients within it so now the bonus I said at the beginning of the video that I would tell you a food a superfood a special one that contains almost all the nutrients we need the essential nutrients and this food I'm talking about is liver. Beef liver is awesome. It contains almost every nutrient we need. And the thing is, you don't have to really eat beef liver if you don't like it every single day. Because studies have shown that an estimate ounce per day, which is around 30 grams, of liver is more than enough so you can choose to do either the 30 grams a day or maybe just go with a serving once a week of seven ounces or around 200 grams you choose so here's the great thing so you could have a vegetarian way of eating and eating liver only once a week a serving of around 200 grams and you will be fine you would have all the nutrients you need this is the power liver has this is very very important and people must understand this because in our society there are many people that do not even touch liver so my recommendation to you is to swap that high processed high calorie pro-inflammatory food loaded with sugar with some fresh and organic local possibly liver beef liver by doing that you're going to improve your health because liver is the true superfood 
Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you understood how important liver is for getting all the nutrients, the essential nutrients we must have in our diet. If you have any doubts, there is a comment section down below. Click on the like button, subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!